Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a long time between these last videos, but uh, I don't know, I've just been caught up doing loads of other stuff for a little while, so... Uh, but I'm now back to this, and I should be... I'm hoping, again, I've said it before, uh, I'm hoping to push out a lot of videos very quickly, but uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, I guess we're going over there along that long road. Oh look, there's a gate open up there. Are we safe here? Looks okay. Oh, there's some Murgles there. I might kill them for their skulls in a sec. Hmm. Alright, so that I think that's Shaymore there. Where we've got to go get the eye. Uh, and just a little bit of nice information. Um, I think Shaymore is pretty much right next to where Divinity's Reach uh, comes into existence in the second game. So that's pretty cool. We're pretty much right where it's going to be. So, yeah. Just give me a sec to kill these. Hopefully I can get a skull or two. I don't want to summon Charlie though, so I'll cut it for a second while I kill them. Hopefully we'll get something. Yes! Alright, cool. Last one dropped on. Alright, so we can get that shield as well after this uh after this mission. Oh, and before, um you might remember I was saying that they do this annoying thing when you complete a mission. They skip you there's a sign there that says to shame or so we're getting close. Yeah, they you complete a mission and they, they skip you kind of through the world without any real reason for it. Um and after this mission here, they do a really bad one though. This chapter ends at the end of this mission. And um they like put you ages and ages away. Uh so what I'm gonna do is when we complete it and uh I hit the loading screen to the next place I'm gonna I really shouldn't have stopped to kill these guys. Hold on. Sorry. I'll cut it while I kill them. So yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, um They do it really badly and it zooms you ages away. So what I'm gonna do when we complete this mission, if I can complete this mission that is that I'm pretty confident I can. Uh when when I've done that, um I'll cut it so that we don't sort of see automatically where I zone to and then we'll walk to the place because it's quite a cool trip and uh, you might remember um, quite a few episodes ago, I don't know the number hold on, I'll, I'll come back to that, let's see what's going on in Shaymore for the moment cool little village, I know we're in Shaymore because there's a Shaymore gate guard there and here's just this year, Hablion let's see what he's got to say Hello. My friends, welcome to Shaymore. This is the Eye of Janthir. It has the power to see inside a person and discern his or her magical aptitude. Those it gazes upon will be judged, either rising to glory or falling in shame. You will be bringing it to Lomehurst, taking those whom it deems worthy with you. So we've got to take it around to all the villages and stuff. Let it scan them. But before it will follow you, you must first cleanse yourself in the Fountain of Truth, up on the hill to the southeast. Once you have been cleansed, come back to retrieve the eye, and you can commence administering the test. And you're not going to help me, are you? My friends, I am happy you made it in time for the testing of the Chosen, he says. This is the eye. Oh, he's just saying what they said in the cutscene. I think they do that in case players try to skip it. So, we're coming up here just at the back, are we? I don't like these Murgles, they will snare me. Fucking things. There's some white mantle up on the hill, though. I wonder if it's been attacked. No, it's not. It's the white mantle abbot. What's going on? Am I stuck? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stop talking and speed this up for a second. All right. Okay, we're at the top. There's loads of them actually. I think I should be okay though. Is that white mantle abbot gonna heal me? I know that they're the monks. Okay, so what have I got to do? Just step in the fountain? Touch the tablets? Try touching the tablets. 
The true believer does not ask for compensation. The true believer does not ask his gods to deliver him from sin. The true believer places his life in the hands of faith, trusting in the unseen. Verse 11, Book of Heresy. Was that heresy it said? Uh, the crossroads will come, a hiccup in time when the rest of history has not been written. At this juncture, when the fate of the world hangs in the balance, the forces of evil will rise. It is at this point that the chosen ones may fail. Those, oh yeah, the abbot is healing me. That's the chosen ones. These are the people we're looking for now. Very cryptic. There's another tablet up there. Oh, and another one. Let's read them. I may have to kill this stuff on top of the fan, and I'm going to quickly cut it and do that because look at all of them. Okay, all right, we're back. Um, I killed the Mergo. Sorry, somebody was just talking to me. Uh, and killing them triggered the next bit of the quest apparently so now we've been cleansed I've got this thing on me called cleansed it says the waters of the fountain of truth have washed away your sins you are now worthy to transport the eye of Janthir which is all cool but I'm gonna quickly read these tablets because they're quite interesting so this one says that although it stands to reason that a believer should be mindful of that in which he believes it seems that we all are all at, at times negligent consequently if someone were to ask the believer in what he believes the person who can answer without stopping to contemplate and reflect is rare. Excerpt from the Book of Tests. What does that even mean? That just sounds deliberately cryptic and twisted. Let's see what this one says. Uh, the real test of a believer is in his range of sight. Faith does not require clear vision, but rather an acceptance of what is truly there. Oath of the Unseen. I guess this is just to reinforce people's faith in the unseen gods. I mean, it's obviously quite easy to lose your faith um, and not believe in them if, if they're unseen. Uh, I suppose that's kind of what these are trying to get the point through to the people. Oh, bugger off, you stupid mergoyles. I'm gonna speed. Oh no, that's right. I was gonna say I was gonna speed it up again, but looks good. In our faith, we are blind. Oh, I've missed a tablet. For fuck's sake. Uh, in our faith, we are blind. In the unseen, we seek true sight. In ourselves, we find obedience. Peasant's prayer from the Book of Loam. 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 Uh, I don't know whether there's a connection there, but there's that. Was it a village called Loamhurst that we were at earlier? seem to remember that. I think that was in the D'Alessio Seaboard. I don't know. It's been a week for me, so I can't quite remember what, everything that we've just done. Uh, at its heart, every man has inside him a place of darkness. The challenge of the righteous man is not only to recognise in himself th that which he seeks to strike down in the wicked, but to understand that he too is wicked. Alright, that sounds fair. That was verse 3 from the book of the, I don't know, Condemned. If these guys block my path, I'll be pissed off. No, it's all good, I think. Yeah, it's all good. Right, so we're now cleansed. We can get the eye. Oh, go away. God, they're not going to stop chasing me, are they? They seem to do quite a bit of damage, so actually. I kind of assumed earlier that there were just these kinds of things I can ignore because they don't seem to do much, but that deep freeze hits me for quite a lot of damage. Sadly, I can't just ignore it. Oh my god, go away! Seems like some of those really annoying enemies that just don't stop chasing you. There we go. Yeah, fuck off. Alright, just this year, we've got it. Ooh, look at the eye. And it's little pedestal things. I think these runes here and this writing and this stuff is all related to the gods of theirs. Uh, we'll learn more about that later. Okay, hello. Oh, wait, there's not a cutscene. Well done. As you can see, the eye will now follow you. All those who you come in contact with will be judged by the eye. Those who are deemed worthy join you in your trek to Lomehurst. Oh, sorry, Lomehurst. Yeah, that's the place we're going next. The unworthy will be humbled. Good luck. Travel safely, my fellow knights of the mantle. 